it's not a pipeline problem. You have to go look for those people and you have to go actively find those people. I mean, I love the stat on, you know, if people, if if you look at a job description, um, men need six out of the qualifications to apply and women feel like they need all 10 out of 10. I think that there isn't a pipeline problem. There is sometimes a bravery and a risk-taking issue with women where we need to be telling people from the earliest stage that it's okay to fail, it's okay to jump off the monkey bars, it's okay to apply for a job that you don't know everything for. I mean, I didn't know anything about any of the industries that I started a company with, but I knew that there was something to build there. And my personal way of tackling the pipeline issue that I care most about is access to funding for entrepreneurs and for women. I mean, today the stats in Canada and in the US are terrible. It's 2% or 3% of women get venture capital funding. And I know that there are way more qualified women businesses. And so instead of you know, I, I built a company around this. I said, we're going to build ClearBank. We're not going to look at your personal credit score. We're not going to do meetings that are subject to all these personal biases. We're literally going to have you plug in your online data, your bank account, your credit card processing account, your Facebook ad spend account. You look at that and then make decisions. And you know what happened? It was magic. We funded something like five times more women than the average VC would because we're looking at the data. We're getting incredible results out of that. Um, and we're really going to prove that, that there are incredible women to fund, but you do have to do a better job going to find them.